All right, welcome back. We have uh, box five of six of the D and D crossover adventures in the in the Forgotten Realms. He's gonna do it every time. I mean, I kind of do it more for myself, I think, though, because I was doing the exact same thing. Adventures in Forgotten Realms. Oh, I mean. So, what's your flake? Flavor. Your my favorite. Flavor, my flavor right now is Zerial. No, your favorite. It's Zerial. Your favorite flavor. Zerial. Of Fago. You mean when I drank pop? Yes. Yeah. Um, you don't have to drink Fago to have a favorite flavor of Fago. Probably Rock and Rye. Okay. Um. And I grew up on Fago. Yeah, I'd say Rock. Like Rock and Rye. Most um, people probably don't think Fago's real. Also, most people don't know, like, what flavor is rock and rye, right? <laughs> like, is it wheat flavored? <laughs> you know, um, so rock and rye Josh is rock and rye as well. Rock and rye is a uh, red cream soda, um, but it's not like your traditional cream soda. It's like red pop with cream soda. Uh, and red pop is literally that. It's red pop. Sorry, it's a Fago um, that is strawberry. But it's not like overly strawberry. Fago has like I don't even know how many flavors. Dude, Eight, it's eight hundred it, flavors. Yeah, or something. It, it's dumb and it's it's so good. And most people don't know what Fago is because Fago is a machine brand, um, born, bred, and raised. Uh, and fun fact, that's why we call it Pop because Fago Red decided pop. to coin the name, coin the term Pop because when you open the can of pops, sure. They also named their stuff literally. Red, Red pop. pop. Yeah, that's why <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they yeah. came up with the, the term yep. pop. So it's kind of funny because people like, we talk about like Red Pop, people are like, oh, that's not actually a thing. No, it actually is a legitimate thing. I mean, thing. people have legitimately yes, said, that's wait, Fago's real? Oh, yeah. Um, much like the coffee place that was here in East Lansing, <laughs> that people did not, like, they actually didn't believe that it was a place. Um, and it was named after a coffee bean. Um, those, I won't... That got renamed. They got renamed because people didn't like it. Um, and I guess rightfully so. Like, it was not coined as that term to begin with, but... Yeah. Um, but people used to actually come... He keeps peeking. I didn't mean to! He keeps saying that. And then <laughs> keeps right. doing it. You ready? Sh All right. Sure, yes. So, Nadar, what do you think it is? It's probably... Time it. I'm just going to say that every time. Yeah, see, I was right. <laughs> <laughs> that actually, foil, full art. Yep. Yep, foil, borderless. Whatever. I don't even know what that one is. That's pretty sweet. I don't, I don't. She can mind hang that. out with the cubes. Oh, wait, you can't see that. Camera. Yeah. She can hang out with the cubes. Yeah, I mean, like, that's like the chase here. Mm -hmm. Remember, those are pre-selling for $42,000 on TCG. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's funny because I screenshot that. Just, <laughs> He's it was like, "What the hell?" No, I was like, "That value though." <laughs> it was like one seller, forty-two thousand yeah. dollars on it. Vorpal sword and a blight sickle. It's a common from Shadowmore. If you didn't know, this is the big one near campus. That well, we can tell you the new was name. relatively recent. It was the company. name was changed to Big B. Yeah. And a lot of people it, it, know who big what Big yeah, B is, right? It was not Big B originally. Correct. It was Coffee Bean. <laughs> yes, sort yeah. of. Um, so I used to drive a taxi cab in East Lansing, and I would actually take people. Like they come back and they're like, "Oh, I brought so and so with me." And it's like their friend because you know, like they moved to California. Like they didn't believe yeah, that this was this a place. Can you real. take us there? And I was like, "What do you mean it's not a place?" Like, yeah, there's like. 30 of them right here. That was just like my roommate in college. He moved here from Seattle. First thing he did was he went to the store and he's like, holy shit, Fago's real? I was like, yeah. He's like, I thought ICDP just made it up. Oh. And I was like, no, it's real. He's like, I want to try some. Like, yeah, well, yeah. Go to the store. <laughs> I didn't realize, you know, when they said they talk about, like, there's literally Starbucks in every corner. Yeah. I didn't no, realize. There's two. What? Well, that's the thing, right? <laughs> like, when you're corner. in the Starbucks, you can see the Starbucks yeah, that's over yeah. there. And when you get out the door, you're drinking your coffee so fast that you just get in the next line for the next Starbucks for yep. four down. Um, yeah, I didn't realize when I visited my uncle uh, in Bremerton, Washington, uh, when I was a teenager, didn't realize that was a thing. And it, 
legitimately was a thing. My first Starbucks experience was actually in Seattle, which was pretty cool. Oh, that's nice. It's a Varus. Followed by a they have, they have to do that because it takes so long to cross the street. No, no, that actually wasn't that bad. No, but it was literally just like you couldn't get out of the Starbucks. So by the time you got out of the Starbucks, just really need another. Coffee. You need another coffee, man. Get back in line. All right. So second. Oh yeah, second Burners is up. another one. And oh, most people outside yep. of Michigan don't know that Burners cures everything. It does. There's lots of memes going around, and you know, at the beginning of the pandemic. Are they truly memes, though? If no, they're that's real. true. They're real. <laughs> It was like Michiganders aren't playing around with COVID, and they'd have a bottle of Verner's with a yeah. spray bottle on it. <laughs> yes, what's that? You're uh, mute now. <laughs> it's like my big fat Greek wedding, right? Where it's like, never seen it. Uh, puts Windex on everything. Yeah, same thing, Same right? thing. We yep. in Michigan, we just do yep. Verner's. Doesn't matter what your ailment is, just drink Verner's. Yep. If your stomach's upset, you just you just stir it until it's flat, then you drink it. Actually, you just drink it. Yeah, you could do that too. I mean, <laughs> you're not going to have an upset stomach afterwards. <laughs> you also might not have anything in your stomach. Yeah. But, um, yeah, we have some very odd. I can't say odd. But. Uh, oh, I was for some reason. I was, thinking, borderless. I was thinking borderless. Yeah, thank you. There's some other good Michigan things. The Michigan left. Nobody gets that one. Oh, yeah. You want to turn left there, but instead of doing that, you're going to pass the street, make a U-turn, then turn right. But it's not a U-turn because it's actually in a median. <laughs> That's true, yeah. And it sometimes <laughs> there is a light there. And, you know, I guess sometimes you actually, to turn left, you take a right and then pull a U-turn. Well, yeah, you take a right to turn left. You take a right to turn a left to turn left. <laughs> Correct? I almost said right, but it's not right. It's left. Right. No. Correct. It was left. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we definitely but done. in our in Michigan's defense, and some people call it the Michigan left, and some people call it the Detroit, Detroit left. I think it depends on where thing. where you're um, from. In it, the, it eliminates the, the state, need yeah. for having a left turn cycle, which actually improves the flow of traffic yep. a lot. Um, something like twenty eight percent or something better traffic flow. Yeah, better. they actually did studies on it. <laughs> the only problem is when people don't understand. Right, like there's one lane or two lanes. And then where when you turn out, if there's oh, yeah, two yeah. lanes, where you're supposed yeah, to turn. When you're making that U-turn, there's an inside and outside turn yeah. lane. So if you're on the inside, it's presumed you're turning around. And if you're on the outside, then you're making a right. Yep. Yeah, there's there's definitely some. It's kind of like oh, traffic right. circles, or as we call them, roundabouts. Roundabouts. Um, and actually, roundabouts and traffic circles are two different things. Um, And, like, it's super weird because the U.S. especially does things totally stupid when they talk about that stuff. What do you mean? When we like we measuring call, distances and freedom. Units? Sure, we call well we call something a roundabout, but it's actually a traffic circle, and a traffic circle has like it's there's like not one in the U.S. or something. It's it's one or the other or something they stupid like that. I don't know that I've seen any multiple lane traffic circles. I don't think that. Maybe there is. I don't remember. It's basically like a lane that turns and a lane that continues. Yeah. And like in some places, there's ones that have like four lanes. I want to say that, yes, there are. <laughs> I think we saw some up north in the UP. Also, I guess that's one thing that... Roundabouts seriously have lights. Traffic circles have lights. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, so we don't have traffic circles. We have roundabouts. Right. But we call our roundabouts... But most people call them... Traffic, traffic circles. circles. That's what it is, yeah. This this one all opened, but they didn't open. Nice, nice. Um, yeah, we also like we have the UP. We have two states in one, and mm -hmm. we don't get along with each other. Yeah. So this is really hard at this angle. This is the lower peninsula. This is the yeah, upper I can't, peninsula. Can't help you. And that's actually what the states look like. That's their shape. Yep. So these are upers. These are trolls. Upers, because U P yeah, Upper yeah, Peninsula, yeah, and trolls because there's a bridge here and we're under the bridge. But you call, but you spell <laughs> Uper Y O O P E R. Yeah. It's kind of like loonies. How do you spell toonies? Um, T O T W O N I E S or T O O N I E S. T O O. Well, I mean, it depends on which tunes. No, because it's a toonie. It's a joke. I know. Because <laughs> it's two loonies. <laughs> Got a foil dungeon map. Getting off on some weird shit here, though. <laughs> Definitely like a 
Michigan only thing. Yeah. That's how checked out of this I am. I'm not paying attention anymore. You Unless weren't you paying the wrong card in that pile. You weren't paying attention to begin with, That's so. <laughs> Roundabouts reduce accidents and increase traffic flow by quite a margin. Except, where did they, I saw a video the other day where they added a, I guess the distinction would be a roundabout in like Alabama or somewhere. Unexpected and like people results. started going the wrong way down the road because they had no idea what to do. Oh yeah, that, that's, that doesn't surprise <laughs> me at all. So that in that really instance, doesn't. it probably increases traffic accidents. But yeah, overall it's better, for sure. Eliminates light cycles. Too, well, there's, there's a bunch of stuff that people don't realize. Like when you get into it, and I don't know, maybe it's like... I guess it was explained to me that people here. Yeah, it's assuming proper driver knowledge. Yeah, it was explained to me that people here know about it because we grew up in a car state, right? Yeah, big manufacturers, but a yeah. lot of people don't realize that's the case. When you get into a vehicle, how do you tell which side your gas tank's on? There's an arrow. So there's not. There's actually to begin with, there wasn't always an arrow. What it is is when you see the gas pump, the side that has the gas handle on it was the side that. Yeah. And most people don't know that, which is why they get out and look to see where their stuff is. I took that as a, well, shouldn't everybody know that? No, it turns, turns out that's that's not a thing. I guess it's just because most of us, like, most everybody here grew up with. Eight. And it doesn't matter because Hondas are always on the left. So why would you need to know anything else? Or I guess the driver's side, left side of the car. I was like, yeah, be, care <laughs> yeah, be careful yeah, here. Yeah. We'll get Driving back. Side. We'll get back into that one too, right? Port side. <laughs> I I don't know which one's port and half. I'm like, they're like hard to port. Um, you going under? I don't, know. I don't understand. The down up. Uh, wait a second. Okay, I had to read that. I didn't know what it was because it was like right at the beginning. Adventure, Bandit Lord, Ranger class. Triple rare. Why couldn't that have been rare list card? Haven't had a quadruple rare pack yet. Mm -hmm. I think it's like a 1% chance. Of this, uh... <laughs> is it 1% or is it less than that? It might be less. I think they rounded up. I think it was like, <laughs> yeah. I think it was like 4% in Zendikar though. It's like 0.00000001% chance. We're going to round that to one. Yeah. We, Make everybody... well, we can't have it say zero. <laughs> right. Make them think that there's a chance, right? What about the old cars that the gas fill is actually underneath the license plate? What does it say on that dashboard? You know, I don't know. I can go home and look. <laughs> you have one of those cars at home? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm at my, well, I'm at my brother's house, but yes. Oh. I was just giving you shit. You were joking, but yeah. yes, actually, uh, dad's, my dad's Trans Am fills from mm -hmm. behind the license plate. Must be from like the 70s? Correct. Yep. 78. Um. <laughs> it reads get out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this car doesn't run on gasoline. It's electric. Thanks. Yeah, right. Oh. Uh. I didn't think about that. What about electric vehicles? Why did I put a frog hemoth? You weren't paying attention. Well, I'm pretty sure that the electric field doesn't have a gas symbol on it. That's it's just a, that's just a no, guess. No, no, but, but like, but like, is there a, is there a direction that tells you I'm which sure side the plug is. is on? There probably is. And the low on charge, the battery starts blinking like on the side. Yeah. It's like there's something weird like that. <laughs> and the Flintstones, the gas tank was in the driver's seat. Ho, ho, ho. I mean, I guess it depends on how much beans Barney had, right? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, this, this box isn't that great either. It's not as exciting. It's not that great. I only got the chase oh, borderless shit. foil. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wow, Garrison. My bad, my bad. This wasn't whale enough for me. My bad. I need like four of those? Come on now. <laughs> for four different commander decks that yeah. are all... You're going to make them all the same list too, right? Yep. <laughs> Would the table like to play it? <laughs> Tiamat? Tiamat or Tiamat? No, all four of us. We're just going to play the same deck. Don't worry, I brought them. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you know which is which? It doesn't matter. They're all the same. They're all the same. How do you use different variations of the cards? I had a play set of OG Dual Lands, so I figured why not make four of the same deck so I can use all 40 Seems of them. Seems legit. <clears throat> I don't own a play set of the Dual Lands. That's I know. My name is not Matt. I haven't had enough come into the shop for you to buy them. Right. Correct. I have 22. But as soon as I get them... They're not here for very long. Here since the first to know. <laughs> Well, Doge. Blink Doge. Blink Doge. Well, Blink Doge. They should have put an E on the end of that. Just to be missed, hilarious. They missed out. Yeah. Wish. I wish you'd open a five, six more Xanathars. I know. I only have one. Mm-hmm. It's okay. We have two boxes left. Well, one in the collector box, so it's like three boxes. <laughs> Pretty close. Alright. Ooh, a Demolish. And this Molder Vine Reclamation that just freaking rotated on a standard. Nice list year. card. Very excited. <laughs> Much wow. I have the first one in a while. Actually, I think the one before that I said something in... in you I wasn't even paying You just like totally were like not even having this card at that no. time. They're <laughs> saving that for the meme crossover set. There you go. That would All be right, hilarious so if they made a scene. I have Vecna. I mean, that's basically just the unsanctioned, unglued, unhinged, right? I think that's the first long rest, and yes, that would be 100% correct. Unmemed. Next set. Unmemed. In before. You, you heard it here first. It's going to be like 10-year-old memes by the time it goes to print, though. It's going to be Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon duels. They'll have, like, the surprise Pikachu as a card. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it gets so much play. <laughs> We're like, that doesn't do anything. I don't care. Like, it's an entirely new game, right? It's just whoever yeah. gets the best memes. You have to tell, like, a story out of just memes. What? <clears throat> I can't attack you because you have surprised Pikachu. I'm like, look at me. <laughs> I'm the captain now. <laughs> I'm fogged for a turn. Oh, crap. All right, Flump. This has been the last couple packs, which is kind of unexciting. Last pack. Goodness gracious. So dumb because I don't know how many commons and uncommons mm -hmm. there are. To like, actually pay attention. Yeah. So it takes a little bit longer. All right, Delina. Um, Feywild Trick. Well, Feywild Trickster. That's not horrible. I like the little thing. This is probably by far. I might. I mean, I have an idea that might be by far the best card out of the, this. I think it might be. Not sure. Do you want me to double check? Yeah, you probably should. I don't know if it's worth anything. Okay, I'll go check. I'll see what current TCG player at low price is. If you were to buy one right now, it would cost you seventy dollars. Uh, I do some math here. 70, yeah, seventy-two, seventy-three. Bucks. Seventy dollars, right? Sure. But there's only two that cheap. The next one's 82 bucks. Market is 68. So listed is higher than market. So I've got 32 rares. And that's why I don't use market. Foils and... So 32, 34, 36, 38, 40? But it's like the equivalent... I didn't check your math, so... It's the equivalent of 32... <clears throat> And eight. That's 40. Okay. Yep. So it's like 75 with the TM. Yeah. Okay. I'm yeah. just making sure like math checks out there. Yep. I don't know if regular TM out's worth anything, but I would assume probably. All right. So that is box five. So we'll be back in just a second with box six.